1982. It's the summer of 1983. Months of planning and preparation are now being utilized, and the Mother's Day show with Joan Lennon is being created. Here in the studio, the final phases of the show are now being completed. The Mother's Day show was taped in less than two weeks, but it took over four months to buy props, write the scripts, and organize a production this large. We taped the show at MTI Studios in Manhattan. We worked from 8 in the morning till 6 at night. The days were long, but rewarding. When you arrive in the morning, there is always action in the dressing room. On this particular episode, Patty Hurst is a guest on the show. The dressing room is a good time for the talent to unwind and prepare for the studio. But once in the studio, rehearsals and planning are undertaken before the first take. Teamwork is the key to the show's success. Over 25 people are working at one time in the studio, and if there is a delay, all 25 have to wait. Each person working is like a piece of a puzzle, and like magic, it all seems to fit together. The heart of the show takes place in the master control room. This is where the executive producer, the switcher, and technical director are stationed. All pre-recorded tapes, the teleprompter, and the three cameras are visible on the various monitors on the wall. The technical director gives the instructions to the switcher, and he makes all the special effects and the camera switches. We not give you the amount of time you need. Find out how you can get the maternity well, leave that you need when we come back. Is off. Hey, John. The switcher is capable of utilizing hundreds of special effects using the computerized board. The rest is up to your imagination. But there are more pieces to the puzzle. The audio room is another place of importance. Here, all audio from the set, sound effects, and pre-recorded tapes are all used in the control room. The teleprompter operator works the machine behind the set. The machine is a small TV camera that shoots a script as it is rolled mechanically past the camera. The script is then visible on the studio camera, so Joan can look right into it and read the words at the same time. Back down in the studio, the floor manager and camera operators are hooked up to headsets, enabling everyone to communicate with each other and not waste time. So this is how things worked on the set of the Mother's Day show. This is Andrew Stein.